Hello, youngster, how are you? It's Belen here, and today we are going to work on class number three. So let's go to the virtual classroom together. And here we can see this presentation. The name is, where did you go? Where were you? So let's see it. Here we have a conversation between Jack and Daisy. So let's read it. Hello, Daisy. Where did you go last weekend? Hi, Jack. I went to the fun fair with my family. What about you? On Saturday, I went to the sports center. And on Sunday, I went to the market. So let's look these two, these verbs. Pay attention, went to the fun fair. I went to the sports center. I went to the market. Están utilizando went to para decir que ellos fueron en el pasado. At the weekend, I went to a fun fair. At the weekend, I was at a fun fair. So if you look, these verbs are similar, all right? Utilizamos went to para decir que ella fue, all right? Y utilizamos I was para decir que ella estuvo. Jack went to the sports center. He was in the sports center, all right? Here we have the same situation. Went to, porque él fue, and he was in the sports center porque él estuvo, all right? In the sports center. Now, look at this. What about you? Where were you last weekend? Okay, kids, I will give you 10 seconds to write your answers on the chat. Come on. All right, that was good. Okay, fantastic. Okay, let's continue. If we go back to the virtual classroom, we can see over here, we have to use this book, Discover English number one, all right? Do you remember this book? We used it last year, all right? It's this one, Discover English one, all right? So our next activity is in this book. Okay, so let's just start doing this exercise. Here we have this important word, school, okay? So the girl says, hi, our subject this month is school. Do you like school? I do, it's fun. And here we are going to complete these school subjects, all right? Let's read them together. English, computer studies, science, art, history, French, PE, it's physical education, geography, music, and maths. So we have to match these words to the pictures we can see here. Okay, let's start. What about the first one? Look at the children, they are painting. So, very good. This subject is art. Excellent. Number two, the teacher is showing something and she, he's using a map. So the subject is very good. Geography. Excellent. So number three, the teacher has got a computer. So very good is computer studies. Excellent. Number four, look at the wall. What is the subject? Very good, it's history. Number five, this is very easy. Excellent, it's music, very good. Now, let's look at number six. Which is the subject? Very good, is science. Excellent. Number seven. 
I can see numbers. So the subject is very good, maths. Excellent. Number nine, pay attention to number nine. What are the children doing? Pay attention to the words. Very good. We can write P-E or we can write physical education, all right? Let's write it anyway, okay? Pay attention to the word, okay? So we can write physical education, excellent. And then the last one, what do you think? Yes, excellent, very good, is French. Sorry, let's write it over here. French, very good, excellent, well done. Now we're going to do exercise number two. Look at this, listen and write the subject. So I'm going to put play, all right? And we're going to listen to an audio, okay? Then you have to write on the chat, what are you listening to, okay? And you have to write over here the name of the subject, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's listen. Unit eight, exercise two. Listen and write the subject. One. <laughs> Two. Ten multiplied by twenty is two hundred. Three. London is the capital of England. Four. Run ten meters, turn, then jump three meters. Five. Look at this website. It's cool. Six. Let's paint a picture of a... Uh... Okay, now let's check the answers together. We know that number one is music, all right? Number two, very good, maths. Excellent. I'm going to write it like this. Okay, very good. Number three, what do you think? It's geography, very good, geography. Number four, yes, physical education, very good. I'm going to write it like this and then like this. Physical education, very good. Number five, excellent, computer studies. Number six, yes. It's art. Very good. Well, we finished with the exercise from page seven, 79. All right. So now we are going to continue with page 80. All right. Here we have a story. Okay. The name of the story is A Bad Day. Yesterday was Tuesday. It was a bad day. Okay. It was a bad day. Okay, estamos hablando del pasado acá. Yesterday was Tuesday, okay? Ayer fue martes. So, let's read it, okay? Ben's joke wasn't funny. Don't worry, it isn't real. What's that? She asks, All right, right? Now, history was okay, but my teacher wasn't happy. Gemma, where's your homework? It's in my bag. Oh no, it's my math homework. Okay, then at lunchtime, move over Monica. Oh, sorry, Gemma, those were my chips. Four, in the afternoon, is it band practice today? No, Gemma, it was last Thursday. Oh no, what a day. 
Look at the teacher's dialogue. It was last Thursday. All right. Estaba preguntando si, ella, si era hoy la práctica de la banda y la profesora le dice no, que fue el jueves pasado. It was last Thursday. Now that we are on page number 81, we have something very important here. These are the grammar boxes, okay? And they are very important. So let's read them together. Here we have the past simple form, all right, of the verb to be. So let's pay attention. Here we have, for example, the subjects I, he, she, and it, all right, and they have to use was in case of affirmative or wasn't if we say something negative, okay? So for example, we can say, he was at school yesterday or she wasn't at school yesterday, okay? What happened with the rest of the subjects? Here we can see, for example, you, we, and they. Recuerden que estos sujetos utilizan otro verbo que es were, en caso de que sea afirmativo, o weren't, en caso de que sea negativo. All right? For example, we can say, uh, you were at school last week. Esto pasa en el pasado, ¿sí? Esto ocurre en el pasado. O we can say, they weren't at school last week. All right? Is it clear? Remember that you can ask your teacher through the chat, all right? And please remember that this chart is very important, all right? Remember, very good. Let's see the following box. Here we have to be past simple questions, all right? A la hora de hacer preguntas, como siempre, vamos a ver que tenemos primero que poner el verbo, ¿ok? En este caso, para estos sujetos, ¿sí? Para I, he, she, or it, vamos a utilizar was, ¿all right? For example, was he funny? And the answers could be yes, I was, no, it wasn't, ¿ok? The important thing to remember here is that you have to write the verb first, okay? Then, if we use these subjects, you, we, or they, we have to use the verb where, all right? So we can say, for example, were we funny? And the answer could be, yes, we were, or were, they funny? No, they weren't. All right? This chart is very important too. Okay? So you must remember this one. Now that we already seen these important boxes, we are ready to start doing exercise number four. Let's read it. Complete the sentences use was, wasn't, where and weren't. But we have to look at the story to complete this exercise. Which story? The story that we read before, okay? So let's do or let's read number one. Gemma's first lesson was science, all right? We are talking about the lesson, so we use was, okay, because it's singular. Number two. Gemma and Ben mm, in the same class for science. If we look at the story again, okay, this is Ben, okay, and this is Gemma, all right? So, what can we say here? Gemma and Ben, very good, where? So, we're going to write here, where, very good. Number three, Gemma's history homework 
mm, in her bag. Do you remember this part? You have to pay attention to the picture number two, okay? And she says, it's in my bag. Oh no, it's my math's homework. So what do we have to write over here? In number three, very good, was. Because we are talking about Gemma's homework, all right? Gemma's history homework, actually. Very good. Number four, the chips, blah, 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 Monica's. What do you think? If we look at the story again, okay? These chips, right? Do you remember? So we have to write here, we are talking about the chips. So it's plural, okay? So number four is where, very good. The chips were Monica's. Number five, after school, the other people in the band, blah, 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 in the music room. What can we write here? We are talking about people. It's plural. But what do we have to write here? Where or where? Let's look at the, st uh, the story again. Can you see the people over here? No, they weren't. So we are going to write number five weren't. Very good. Remember to write your answers on the chat. And number six, Gemma, blah, 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 happy. Look at her face. What do you think? Was she happy? Mm, are you sure? Very good. So we are going to say that Gemma wasn't happy. Very good. Excellent. Let's continue with exercise number five. Here, we have to complete the questions and answers, all right? So, complete the questions and answers. Let's read number one. Were Felix and Ben at school last week? We use where, all right? Because our subjects here are Felix and Ben, okay? We are talking about two persons, all right? Felix and Ben. So the answer says, yes, they were. We use exactly the same verb to answer the question, all right? So let's do number two. Come on. We need the verb here to talk about Gemma and Monica. So the verb we are going to use here is very good. Where? Exactly. Were Gemma and Monica at the library last night? And can you see the cross over here? This cross? All right. So the answer must be negative. So we have to write, no, they, because we are talking about Gemma and Monica, no, they weren't. Very good. What about number three? We are talking about Ben, only Ben. What do you think? was or were. Very good. We are going to use was. Was Ben at the park yesterday? We need an affirmative answer here, okay? So we are going to say, yes, he was. Very good. Number four, Felix and Gemma. All right, Felix and Gemma. So the verb we are going to use here is were. Excellent. Were Felix and Gemma at the swimming pool last Saturday? We have to say no. So we are going to say no, they weren't. All right, we use exactly the same verb. And the last one, here we can see Monica. The question is about Monica. So the verb we are going to use here is was. Was Monica at Ben's house last Friday? And we have something affirmative to say. So we're going to say, yes, she was. Very good, excellent. Now, if we look at the virtual classroom again, we can see that we have the next handout, talking about the past, was, where. So let's complete this handout together. So, let's read it. 
Complete the chart, circle the correct answer when necessary. So here we have the affirmative part, okay? So let's complete it. Look at the first one. I mm -mm, at home last Saturday. The verb we have to use here is very good. I was at home last Saturday. Then what happened with he, she, and it? It's affirmative. So we have to say he, she, or it was very good in the playground at 11.30. You, they, we, acá cambia, all right? So be careful. We are going to use where. You, they, or we were in the sports center on Wednesday. Okay, let's see the negative form now. So here we have negative, very good. So I, we can't say was, it's negative. So we are going to say wasn't, very good. I wasn't at school last Saturday. He, she, or it, again, is negative. So we are going to use wasn't again. He, she, or it wasn't on the beach at 11.30 a.m. En cambio, si utilizamos you, they, or we, en afirmativo utilizamos were, en este caso es negativo. So we are going to say weren't. What happened now with interrogative form? Okay. You always have to pay attention to the subject, all right? Where I last Saturday? Where was I last Saturday? Mm, I can't remember. Oh, yes, I, very good, I was at home. Very good. If our subjects are he, she, or it, the verb will be was again, because it's a question. Was, for example, he in the living room at 11.30? Yes, he, she, or it was. Very good. But if the answer is negative, we are going to say, no, he or she or it wasn't. All right. Pay attention to these subjects. They are different, all right? We have you, they, and we. Okay, so the verb will be where, very good. Where, for example, you at the sports center on Wednesday? Yes, you or we or they, where? If the answer is negative, we are going to say weren't. Okay, now we have something important here. It's important, okay? So, where, like this, where, which is the, the verb we need here? What do you think? If the subject is you, okay, we are going to use, very good, where were you? Where were you yesterday? I, if the subject is I, the verb will be was. I was in the shopping center, okay? Now again, we have another question. Okay, and the subject here is you again. So the verb we are going to use is exactly the same, where. Were you in a store or were you in a shop? Yes, I, if the subject is I, the verb will be was, okay? And if the answer is negative, we are going to say wasn't. Yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Is it clear? All right. Okay, now that we are in the virtual classroom again, let's talk about the homework, okay? The handout you have is Gemma had a bad day, okay? So let's read it together, okay? Do you remember the story that we read from the book? Okay, so you have to complete the exercise, okay? I'm trying to remember the story. Where was Gemma yesterday? She... And you have to compete with the verb over here. Solamente tienen que completar con los verbos, ¿ok? Y, re, y recuerden también que cuando son interrogativos debemos poner el verbo adelante. O poner yes or no en todo caso, ¿sí? Presten atención en las oraciones interrogativas también, ¿ok? That is the homework.
All right. Okay. And that's all. So now you will continue working on Zoom with your teacher. Okay. So see you kids. Bye-bye.